future. Call us. Welcome back to River City Live. So I want to give you a little bit of backstory before we run this next story for you. Uh, a, a a couple of weeks ago, you know, my husband and I, we walk on the beach nightly with our dog, Sophie, the Rottlibra Hound, and we, we always kind of, you know, walk and talk and kind of talk about our day, but he picks up trash all the time, always ends the walk with hands full of trash, and I started doing it too, then I started to bring a bag, and then I posted a picture online, and I was challenged by our general manager to collect what I picked up just over the course of a couple of days or a week, just to see how it would look if it was all accumulating in one place. Well, I did that and at the very same time, I was contacted by my friend Anne-Marie Moquin at Beaches Go Green about a really cool project that they are working on to get reusable water bottles as part of the athletic uniform in area schools. So that's the backstory, <laughs> here you go. Here's a math problem for you, if two people Stroll Ponte Vedra Beach for one mile every evening for five days, picking up trash as they go. How much plastic would they accumulate in five days, less than a week? Here's what we have. Here's another question for you. Would it even make a difference? So I used to think that I was a good steward of the environment because I put my trash in the trash can and I put my recycling in the recycle bin. And so I threw things away, right? Like I did it right. But the truth is there is no away. Anne-Marie Moquin is the founder of Beaches Go Green. And she says that we have to get in front of the issue, not follow along behind cleaning up. So pollution has been something that's been around for probably hundreds of years, right? And so we're, our goal is to teach people to retrain their habits. We want people to make better choices up front because I feel like if we're out cleaning the beach, we're constantly going to be chasing after bad habits of purchasing single-use plastic and polluting single-use plastic. So the more that we can do up front to teach people to change their habits, the better. Education is mission number one for Beaches Go Green. And the good news is, there's an interest. Ponte Vedra High School, Fletcher Middle School, Nice High School, all have Beaches Go Green clubs, and each school has committed in their own way to make a difference. So I'm super proud of these Ponte Vedra High School Beaches Go Green Club students. They have been a major contributor to this program in replacing all the single-use plastic. We have donated over 600 bottles to the athletics department for all the sports at Ponte Vedra High School, and they have made them part of the athletic uniform. And so that's super exciting. So there's an opportunity at practices and games to refill these bottles, but to eliminate all the single-use plastic at the event. The group would love to see reusable water bottles become a part of all sports teams' uniforms. And it's great to see other students on the sidelines getting excited too. Players on the volleyball team, they love these water bottles. And people have been asking me every single day if we're going to sell them. And fortunately, we are going to sell yeah. them on the website, which is really good. And uh, that's kind of new news for the PV students because everyone loves them. The bottles are hit at the middle school level as well. It's one of the Beaches Go Green uh, sick cups that are used to prevent uh, sending plastic. And then so you can use this instead of plastic. The Beaches Go Green Club model includes older students educating the younger ones. We have videos coming out for the elementary school kids and it'll help so much to educate them and we'll just get to spread the message even further and they go tell their families and it's a great thing. But it can't stop there because oftentimes it's we parents that need to be educated. Our, we're the ones that go to school, and we're the ones that learn this. And when we get home, we're the ones that are going to need to teach our kids about what we learn. So true, they're the ones that have to teach us, you know? I'm sure your kids have all gone to school and come back with projects or information about recycling, and you're like, okay, you know, I didn't realize that was such a problem. They're definitely more aware than we were growing yeah, up. Definitely. And it's a, a constant reminder, you know, of what to do. But yeah, that's actually, it's a really good idea, you know, uh, with the athletes to get involved with that, the school in general. 
And I know that there are a lot of bigger programs that are also getting ready to get involved. Like um, up at Davis Park, I think your boys might have some games there occasionally, like soccer games, lacrosse games. There, as a, I think it's the whole group is getting ready to do something with the reusable water bottles. And um, if you are a corporation and you want to get behind it as well, I know they're always looking for corporate sponsors. It's, it's just a really big, big undertaking. Yeah, it really is. And then, you know, we live in such a beautiful area and it's yeah. just so sad when you go to the beach and you just see all that trash around. And it's something that you see on a daily basis when you go for these walks. We pulled up some, just some stats here, just to put it in perspective. Uh, one of them is uh, the average person generates over four pounds of trash every day. The average person, that's, that's a lot. And then this one I thought was interesting too. This is according to the EPA. Uh, basically 75% of the American waste stream is recyclable, but we only recycle about 30% of that. So we still have a long ways to go. Exactly, Anne Marie is gonna be back with us in the near future. Beaches Go Green has more to share, including, I don't know if you noticed the girl um, in the video showing that you take the strings off those reusable masks. That's so that animals don't get caught up in them. So, you know, they're saying, you know, use, I'm sorry, the non-reusable masks. Be sure you're using all the reusable things. And whenever you do need to recycle something, make sure you're putting it in the correct place. More from Beaches Go Green in the near future and more on River City Live just around the corner. Some people think our law firm only takes on the biggest cases with the most serious injuries. The truth is, many of our cases involve car crashes, slip and falls, and work injuries. 